Welcome to Real Talk, with discussions on the latest news in the ever-changing real estate market. Here are your hosts, Joe and Kira. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Real Talk. I'm your host, Joe. Kira Mooney. With RCG Mortgage, and I'm with Keller Williams. How you doing? Special day today because the both of us are not wearing blazers. It's the holiday edition. The pre-Thanksgiving. Pre, Pre-Turkey. pre Pre-Turkey, pre-Christmas. Yeah. Casual. We got a lot to go over on this episode. Feeling light. But then we're going to cu- bring the blazers back after we put on all the turkey and the holiday weight. weight. All that. Yeah. yeah, maybe right after. So right now we're, we're feeling good. We are. We're doing good. We have a whole great show wrapped up for you guys today. We're going to discuss all different topics. Kira is going to start off with a little bit on mortgages, and then we're going to hit sports and some random questions, make it a little bit more of a fun episode for you guys to enjoy. But always remember, like, comment, and subscribe below. If you are if you care about us, you will like and comment and subscribe. If, Thank you, you. Love, if you love us. Um, so to start off, I want to touch on last week, the rates dropped slightly on Friday. Um, a lot of people were super happy about it. They did drop a little bit. So Prior to Friday, we were seeing rates more so in the sevens um, with paying points or whatever it may be. So they dropped a little bit on Friday. That was, what was Friday's date? November. Got me. uh, The 11th. So we saw a nice improvement. Um, But I did want to talk about self-employed lending. Because of a challenging market, interest rates aside, a lot of times people always think because they're self-employed that it's that they can't get a loan or they just count themselves out completely. So option A is tr- the traditional way is you show your business tax returns. So your personal uh, tax returns and your business tax returns. That's one way to get qualified. If you have so many write-offs, which is the case for a lot of self-employed individuals, you show almost a loss on paper. They call it a paper loss, meaning that you're negative, you're showing a loss of income, meaning that you're not producing a profit. If that's the case, we have a solution. The solution is you can show, we can do a bank statement program. What is that? If you own, I always say the ice cream shop example, say you own like an ice cream shop and you bring in like $50,000 a month in cash deposits into your business bank account, credit cards, tips, cash, whatever it is, we use the average of those deposits over a 12 month or a 24 month span. And then great news for you, as the business owner, we use that as your income to qualify. So that's just one creative option. We have a bunch of others here at RCG. We can always have set up a consultation based on your situation, based on the type of business you own. Every business is different. We can get you set up, see what's best for you, and still get you a mortgage and into the house that you want. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. So let's say somebody comes to you right now mm-hmm. and they have all their taxes, they have everything, right. but their credit is shot. They have a 550 credit score. Mm-hmm. How do you get them the lowest interest rate possible? Even with a bad score? Even with a bad score. So if you have 550, you can still get a loan. You have to put a minimum of 10% down in that case okay. because you're not at the 580 mark. So 580, it's 580 like, or above. Yeah. That, okay. At 580, you could put 3.5% down. But if you're under 580, you have to do 10%. Gotcha. Must. Um, but in that case, I would still work with them to see how I could help them try to fix their credit. Um, And the interest rate is based off of your credit score. Right. So if your score is lower, you're not going to be exposed to the best pricing. But in any event, we still have access to 20 different lenders. So I would still be able to work with a bunch of options and see which one is best for them. Very good. So right now, if you've been following the market, like we've been saying, the market is dipping right now. It's down 5% Nassau, Suffolk County, throughout New York. Mm -hmm. 5% the last month. 5% 5% before that, it dropped as well. And so when you, you say dipping, you mean the house price, The right? housing, yeah. the average house uh, price in, in New York is down 5% in the last month, 30 days, 10% total in the last uh, 60 to 90 days. So you are seeing the housing market come down a little bit. Mm-hmm. People aren't going crazy, offering 100,000 over, over asking. Over ask, right. And with the interest rates going up, market's coming down a little bit here. So there's plenty of opportunities, I think, that are out there for buyers, Right. Um, especially in the beginning of the year coming up. A lot of people, November, December is usually a little slower. Mm -hmm. So January, February, March, going into the new year, there's plenty of opportunities. If you're a real estate agent out there, grab some real estate, get some listings, and start moving some houses out. And people are more quiet during the holidays. I feel like they're not focusing on real estate. So if you're a buyer, Now is still a good time because you don't have all of the crazy spring buyers that are like, I need to get in a a house before the school year starts. That's your uh, advantage. And advantage B is a lot of people during the holidays, they just shut off. 
So you have the advantage to be working through a market and maybe submit offers that wouldn't get accepted in a spring market. So right now, as far as for uh, my team listing is go, we just went into contract on the $1.75 million duplex in Brooklyn. Nice. Um, we are closing on the West, Hem uh, West Hempstead Plainview, nice, hopefully nice. this week. Hopefully this week we are also closing on the Franklin Square House. So those are a couple houses that are coming off the market, but we have a few new ones going on. Possibly have a new listing in um, in Brooklyn that's going on. Nice. In a really nice house out in uh, near Williamsburg area, I believe. So we're all over the place, but you'll see all the new listings, all the videos um, coming up in the upcoming shows. And if you need any information, you want to get in early, give me a call, 631-236-9012. If you're not pre-qualified, you speak to Kira. At RCG Mortgage, 516-967-8540. The first step, as a reminder, we cover it on every show. Get your pre-approval, see how much you qualify for, and then you can go out with Joe and start shopping. He covers everywhere. So Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, All Nassau, over. Suffolk, he will go with you. So set one, get pre-approval, and then get out there, start submitting offers. Like we said, the fall, winter time, although it's a different type of market, there's still a lot of opportunity. So there are. People advantage. always looking to buy a house no matter what. Some people want to buy a house and, uh, for Christmas, be able to tell their family, oh, by the way, we just bought a house. Uh, you know, we have everything all planned to be able to move in mm -hmm. by summertime or by spring. So there's always different buyers out there looking for different reasons to, to buy houses at different times of the year. Right. So we always do different segments, and we were doing sports segments there for a while. I'm going to go back to that. Um, and then Kara's going to ask me some random questions. So which one do you want to go first? Random questions or sports? Give the sports update first and uh -huh. then So we'll sports update, if you're a Mets fan, Jacob deGrom, we're trying to decide what to do with him. I really don't know what to do with Jacob. He, was, he made a guest appearance on our show, oh, if one you remember. Time, yeah. He was here, the little guy. He's going to be 34 years old, I believe. He's asking for a crazy amount of money. Do you give it to him? He's a Cy Young winning pitcher. He's on He's the blondish long hair. Did Short they call hair him now. Thor? No, that was Cinder gone. He's gone. Uh oh. He's went to Philly. Ignore me. So he do closer. So right now with <laughs> with uh, with Degrom, I don't really know what to do. Do you pay him? Do you not pay him? That's a tough question. Give me a call. 718-937-6666 WFAN. Give I'm Joe just kidding. Your That's WFAN. Advice. That's a sports talk. Um, my Islanders, of course, doing great. We and are, go what? ahead. No, keep going. Keep going. We're doing great. We're in second place behind the Devils, who I don't know how the hell that happened because that's not going to last. If you're a Devil fan, take this Jersey's little run Jersey's coming up it. on your on your tail. Out of nowhere, they came in there in first place. They're actually playing good, but they're not going to stick around. If you're a Ranger fan, I'm really sorry. You still suck. Um, and you're right nice. behind us by, I think, only two points. Um, and side note, the World Cup starts on Monday. Mm. No. Sunday. On Sunday. Thanks it to our um, video team. Shout out, Greg. Um, the whole team. You can't see him, but he's the mastermind behind um, this video. Yeah, but it starts on Sunday, and I'm excited for that. I don't know if you like soccer. I feel like you don't. I don't like soccer. I never got into but soccer. But I like it because it's like really fast, and like there's not like 20 games like bas like 20,000 games like basketball. It's like if you're good, you're in. If you're not. You're kicked out, and that's it. I, I got to start watching soccer. I know it's a big thing. So I just never had the time to get into it. We're going to root for the U.S. men's national team, and hopefully when we come back for our next show, they're still in the World Cup. When does it end? The 18th of December. The 18th the of December. <laughs> the 18th of December per Greg. I didn't even know that. All right, I'll start watching it. Okay. Maybe. But I still have hockey to watch. I still have football. The Jets are doing amazing. The Giants are doing amazing. Both teams. I'm in third place in my fantasy team. I am not Woo. doing fantasy. Are you really? Yeah, because yeah. I have Saquon on my team. Look at you. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I want to know what your random questions are. Okay, so this segment, we're keeping it light and fun today because oh, there's no, we don't have blazers on. So yeah. <laughs> we're going to ask Joe some questions. He doesn't know what they are, and we're going to see what happens. This is going to be torture. Go ahead. Question one. If <laughs> You might know this question already. If there was only three things that you could keep in your fridge for a whole month i was gonna say a week but no a month what would the three things be food or drinks uh, they're only three well, okay water aside because you okay. i'll give you access to water okay. what can you have in your fridge it could be food or drinks but only three things for a month eggs okay that's valid chicken okay um and one more thing cheese you're not gonna throw a carb in there okay 
Oh. <laughs> uh, Chicken and cheese what, for a month for Joe. I, what, what carb can I put in that's going to... I'm, I'm going to eat all month. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, chicken and cheese for you. Chicken, eggs, and bacon. Uh, bacon. I'm going to go bacon, <laughs> chicken, and eggs, bacon, and chicken. Because you could put the bacon with the eggs. You could do the bacon with the chicken. With the chicken. Yeah, I'll go with those. Sorry. That wasn't that bad. That was pretty easy. Okay, I like that for you. If you could have anyone's wardrobe... Who would it be? I don't think you think about these things. Anyone's wardrobe? Yeah, like, is there someone that, Elvis. like... Elvis. What? What? <laughs> How could I not... Elvis or Prince? Oh, my God. Okay. I think I look great in Prince's outfit. He has to, has to be a little bigger, but... Yeah, Elvis or Prince. Okay. Why? Who else would... Like, wardrobe? I'm a guy. That's very hard. Every guy has the same shit. They have a Okay, no, you're keeping down. that answer. I like that for you. All right. Elvis or... <laughs> yeah, you got any more? I'm, Joe's I'm gonna... liking this. I'm going to come dress those Elvis next Okay, time. next question. Um, so your whole life is, like, wiped. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus. Like, we're back to, like, zero. Like, nobody knows who you are. You're oh, just... You're put in a helicopter. No one a no one asks how I this came up my, with this question. This, this is my dream come true. <laughs> this is honestly my dream come true. You're in a helicopter. You're gonna get dropped into back into the state of New York, but like Ugh. you have no idea who you are. <laughs> you don't know your name. Go ahead. You're just gonna be. And nobody knows me. Nobody knows this is you. Great. I love you're this just gonna already. be dropped into the state of New York. Okay. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna make money and how are you gonna survive? I'm gonna bartend. Okay. Valid. That's how I'm gonna survive. It's all cash. That's it. I'm gonna bartend. I, I would start. Okay. You, you heard it here, everyone. If Joe had to start over. He's would, going to a bar. But why do I have to get dropped off in New York? I don't want to live in this stupid shit state. You don't have to stay here. I'm just saying that helicopter that you're in is dropping you off here. You could have dropped me off in Aruba or something. That no. would have been a great way to you, start. You can go there from New York, but you got no dropped money. off here. Yeah, exactly. I have to start working as bartender to get down to Aruba, to then bartend at Aruba. Okay. That's what you're doing. All right, I'll bartend. Okay. I want to bartend in Manhattan somewhere at, like, a really good restaurant yeah. that turns into a bar at night. Yeah. And make a ton of money. Find a really rich older woman who's got like maybe 10 years left in her <laughs> life. Joe's finding a sugar mama. Her. Finding a sugar mama. And then mama. he's taking her savings. And I'm savings. taking her money. And then you're going to Aruba That's it. with she's, her trust. Yeah, well, she's going to disappear somehow. Uh, oh, so be, we're making... I'm just saying, if I'm, if I'm going to find an older woman, I need to find an older woman who's got really no family left. But, right? Oh. And then I was just be like, hey, you want to go take a boat ride? <laughs> and then, hey, what happened to Betsy? I don't, I don't know. She just <laughs> left. And... Next thing you know, everything's in my name. Now I own the restaurant <laughs> bar in Manhattan. She's dead. And then I moved to Aruba. Okay. Done. Congrats. Thank you. That was I easy. love that for Thank you. Thank you very much. That was our fun segment. Yes. Now everyone knows if it's someone named Betsy. Disappears. Goes missing from Manhattan. Yeah. And hey. if she's your grandma. Actually, <laughs> come, you know what? I just realized something. Hold on. Joel if she goes missing, I don't get the money. Yeah, they're going to know it's so you. So she's got to die, so she would have to be poisoned. What? She would have to be poisoned and die somehow for me to be able to get the money. I thought you were just going to be like, oh, we're dating. And then she's going to like slowly like go off, like, like die off. And then die? you take the restaurant. But she might give you a prenup. That's what rich, like I really to, smart people I do. I need to find a woman that's old and rich that owns a restaurant. Yeah, but she's not just going to sign everything into your oh, name. Oh, yes, yes. Of course. Oh, oh, yeah, oh no, okay. Right. All right, you heard it here first. Joe's going to find a sugar mama. Thank you. And if you're out there, 631 <laughs> He can find you your next mansion. That's it. And you can date him. That's right. Thank you. But you have to be over 95. Oh, perfect. All right. That all was right. good. That's all your questions? That's it. Um, okay. We're going to wrap this show up. This okay. was short and sweet. We're keeping it light today. Um, we're going to come back after Thanksgiving. Hot and heavy, ready right. to go. Stuffed and with fat. <laughs> stuffed. Holiday, like, just... Bloated. Bloatedness. But we're going to come with a lot of good content for we you. Do. A lot of educational pieces. Thank you for watching. If you don't subscribe and like, we would be very sad. So just support us. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. You've been watching Real Talk, the latest news in real estate with Joe and Kira. If you'd like to submit a topic for discussion or have any other questions, leave a comment below. We'll talk to you next time.